hi who's as excited as i am today today is day 30 of our 30 days challenge Whew, i am excited we don't want two three four two thirty wow Woo, like dancing dancing welcome to my channel my name is wendy Ologe, the intentional parent are you just joining me for the first time i sure you would not know why i'm getting very excited we've shared videos for the past 30 days every day on a challenge how well do you know your child interestingly it's, it's actually been quite <laughs> quite some time you know and it also been i guess hectic because we have to record videos every day to be able to share and roll up so that parents will get on this challenge so today is day 30 if you're new here subscribe right here on our channel and turn on your notification bell right so that you can get all the videos that we're going to be sharing so after today we share videos every monday every wednesday and every friday i love sharing tips on parenting i want to assume that you came by here because you were looking for parenting channel you're right on time all right let's move straight today is the 30. guess what the question is what would your child like to change about you Yo, I'm sure that a lot of parents don't want to hear this, but yes, this is the truth. What would your child like to change about you? If there's anything any child would want their parent you know, to do better, is the ability to manage their emotions better. Mm -hmm. Yes, a lot of children say, oh, my parents yell at me too much and all that. When you ask questions to your child, the answers you will get are things like, I don't want my mother to yell. I don't like my mother hitting us at the slightest provocation. Sounds familiar, right? Eh? Oh, yes, you're with me. As parents, it is our responsibility to provide for our children physical needs, food, shelter, protection. What about the responsibility to parents from the state of love? We often hear that good parents love their children unconditionally, but we all know that no parent always feel like loving all the time. There are times you don't just feel like loving. Yes, I agree with you. It can get tough. But regulating our own emotions is key on this journey so that we can offer loving guidance rather than anger to our children. So you're not offering anger to your children. It's fundamental to good parenting. So not just for our children, but for us as well. So is it hard? yes trust me it is i think the hardest work any of us will ever do is actually to be able to get ourselves to that point of emotional well-being emotional intelligence that can help us parent but <clears throat> completely possible in my book connect correct i shared on how i struggled with this and eventually got to learn yes it's a learned skill and i'm sure that if you get a copy of that book it will help you learn exactly what you need to do the question is do you know that parenting is about you and not your child all right how intentional are you on working on your parenting goals what have you learned parenting is a skill parenting is an art parenting is a science and must be taught are you learning to be a parent thank you again for being here all right so it's been awesome journey but before you go i would like to share something interesting with you like my normal bonus points what do i need to do to become an intentional parent number one start with getting skills skills are key when it comes to your journey on intentional parenting start by getting knowledge what do i need to do to be able to get that knowledge we have books i've been privileged to author books that can help you connect to correct the discipline that works and from yelling to calm we also recently launched some awesome parenting guides because recently we found out that parents need guides on several areas for instance we launched a family media plan because we found out that children were constantly being handed over gadgets without any form of guide so we put up that guide that can help people construct the kind of plan that will help them all right and their children be able to have those gadgets and use them if your child has a gadget and there was no guide in the first place please retrieve it get a copy of that plan that plan will help you giving your child a gadget without a plan is like giving your child a car key without your child learning how to drive you need to teach your child how to be you know in the world and how to be in the online world all right the next thing you also want to do is that you want to create family values how do you create family values 
you create family values from the things that you believe most in. It will help you put your parenting plan together. It will help you put a lot of things together so that you will now be able to follow these things diligently. Family values differ. A family that is very loving and caring will want to jamboree and also add it to their family value. There's nothing wrong with it. You just want to create it in such a way that is central to the life of your child. We've also made it so easy for you by creating a guide called the Family Value Guide. This Family Value Guide will help you to be able to actually create your family value, create your family mission, create your family vision and create a family tagline. We say the family is a business and if you take it as one then your children will also begin to understand the values that you have as a family. Get a copy of that guide, look at the description session and you will see how to get all these guides. Then we have lastly the other guide called the family meeting guide. You want to constantly have family meetings so that you can retreat your value plans to your children. Family meetings help to create an atmosphere that is conversational where children come together with their parents to create and think of how to bring their systems and their system, their value system to bear. Have you been able to do that? If you have not been able to create a structure that works in home, we also have a guide that will help you. The family meeting plan. The family meeting guide helps you to create a plan according to your family value that helps you. So these three guides are awesome. In fact, we have over 500 parents who got it on the day that it was launched and in the 24 hours. You will want to get a copy of it. Even if you are outside of Nigeria, they are all e-copy and they are printable. So you can get a copy, create it, and also these copies also have templates that you can work out in split seconds what you want your family to be like. It makes it a lot more easier. We also have courses in the academy. Part of the things that we have shared in these 30 days will help you recognize where do I need help. And once you are able to determine where you need help, then you can begin to sort out the knowledge you know, where you can get them. We've also made this easier. We've also been able to create courses that can help you in different aspects of your parenting. We have what we call one of our premium courses called Working Your Child Through Puberty. This course will expose you to so many things that you need to teach your child when your child is going through puberty. And in this course, you're going to learn so much when it comes to all the things that happen in the brain of a child during puberty. We also have a course called Understanding Your Child's Learning Style. I remember that one of the days we shared about learning style and we had lots of questions coming from that conversation. And people were asking, how do I know my child's learning style? You can go to the academy take a course on how to understand your child's learning style we also talked about yelling today we talked about parent children saying oh my mother yells a lot so we have a course called from yelling to calm you can start your journey with that and most importantly we have a course called becoming the emotionally intelligent parent you remember if you have followed this challenge how many times emotional intelligence has surfaced in all the things that we need to do as parents Emotional intelligence is key. The truth is, if we must raise emotionally stable children, then we must become emotionally intelligent ourselves. Emotional intelligence is a key skill on your journey as a parent. And like I shared, I battled with it and I was able to triumph. And that's part of what I shared also in my book, Connect to Correct. You might want to go through our website, www.wendyologi.com, and you will be able to get all the books that we have shared here. If you want to get any of the copies of the books that we shared here, just go to the description and look for www.wendyologe.com and you have access to all the resources that I've shared with you. Or you want to take any of these courses that I've shared with you, go to www.theintentionalparentacademy.com. You will also find several courses. We have tons of courses. These are just a few that I was able to share with you. We have courses that are free. We also have courses that are paid. So you want to go through and find out how you can enroll and start your journey to becoming the intentional parent. I can assure you of one thing. When you start, you will see a significant difference in who you become and who your child becomes in six months, in one year, and you'll be able to record your progress. Thank you again for being here with me. Thank you for tuning in and see you again on our next video. Remember, we share videos Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and that will help you be able to get more knowledge and more insight on all the things that you want to teach or even learn as a parent. 
My name is Wendy Ologe. I'm the founder of the Intentional Parent Academy. Don't forget to join our community, the Intentional Parent on Facebook. It's a community of over 35,000 people running and you want to be there so that you will learn with other parents. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram at the Intentional Parents with the S. And also follow us on other channels, the Intentional Parent. I'm also on all the social media channels as Wendy Ologi. You can follow me to see all the amazing, interesting things that we share right on my social circle. Thank you for being here and see you again in our next video.